All right, so here's a pretty basic setup of what a band might look like. Now, this is only using 16 of our inputs here, and so we're going to just give a quick overview of how this might work, and then we'll look at the console and talk about how we actually do this within the user settings uh, with, with version 4. So typically what's going to happen is, uh, is output 1 is going to be routed directly out to your USB. Output 2 is going to be directly out to the USB. But uh, and, and so if you grabbed 1 through 16, as an example, uh, for your multi-track recording, then you're going to get all these direct inputs. But what we need to do, if we're going to stream and multi-track record, then what we're going to do is, is this would be our stream left and stream right. Then we can map these directly over. So I'm going to copy these and paste them here. But then we need to come down here and make 17 and 18 as outputs. And this would be our kick and our snare. You see that? So this one here, if I just grab a little color and make it yellow, this one here is our yellow one. And so we're just flip-flopping these down to the end. This is the easiest way to do it. Some people go through and and reset everything so that like one would come over here and be three. So they just they just bump everything down one. To me that's way too confusing. I just want to go the easiest route. So I can just map right here three, four, five, six. And what's going to happen is we're going to do this in blocks of eight in uh, in the user settings. And so we can just kind of grab these as a block of eight here, and we're just custom setting up, you know, USB one and two to be our stream. Uh, and then again down here, this would just be a block of eight that's normal. And then we're going to do user settings down here for 17, 18. Now, the big question that comes in next, Dave, I've got 32 channels of inputs how do I make this work? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you can't. Um, you've got to you've got to trim down. You you've got to you've got to leave two outputs here, left and right, to be your stream. If you're going to multi-track record and stream, you've got 30 additional channels you can stream. If you look at the user output settings, you'll see that they do have up to 48 output uh, channels but that's only going across AES 50. You don't have the ability to use those going out USB. USB can only take 32 channels going out into your computer. So let's jump over to the actual console now and take a look at how we set this up in this example. All right, so here in the console, we've come to the routing table. What we're gonna do is we're going to page over first to outputs. Okay, when we get to outputs here, we're going to take a look and see where all of our mix buses are mapped to. So output one, this is on the back of the console, but we still need to be using our mix buses to, uh, to feed into our stream. So output one is mix bus one, output two, mix bus two. And now we're going to be using nine and 10 for our stream. So I need to make sure that mix bus nine is mapped appropriately, mix bus 10 needs to be mapped appropriately. So now nine and 10, let's keep going. 11, 12, 13, 14, and then on this console, usually 15, yes, is a main left, 16 is main right. So now that we've checked that, we can page over to the user settings. And we're not gonna deal with inputs, so we push this to go down to output. And now what we're gonna do, remember in our spreadsheet example, output one is going to map to mix bus or output nine, sorry, USB, let's be more specific. This user out one that we're gonna to send to USB is going to go to output nine, which is our stream. Next, output two would be mapped to output 10 over here. That's our stream left and stream right. Now, when we go to output three, we're gonna come back up here and grab our local inputs because that's on, this setup, that's where our inputs are coming from. If they're coming from AES 50 or some other some other fashion, then you would need to select that appropriately. But for me, it's going to be uh, just going down here. We have to jump all the way down to eight. 
So now we have our stream left and right set up for USB output one and two, and then uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Now remember the last thing we need to do is go down here to channel 17, and this will be our local one, and then local two. Remember how we took those and we swapped them down to the bottom. Okay, we're almost done with this setup here. We're gonna page back over to our card. Now again, by default, our card is set up for local because that's how my inputs are. So local one to eight, all the way to 24 going out. But if you look at this output patch overview, we're gonna end up seeing that change. So let's scroll down here to our user outputs. There we go, user output one through eight. And see now it has mix bus nine and 10, which is our stream. And the rest of them are filled in with locals. Now we don't have to change the next section of local nine to 16, but 17 to 24, we do need to change. So we're gonna come down here, grab our user 17 to 24. And there you can see now we have local one and two. So all of this is going to go just like our spreadsheet showed us. Um, all we're doing is taking our input one and two and the example was kick and snare. We're moving those down to the bottom just for our, our X USB, our card outputs. And that way our streaming software can recognize the stream on one and two, and then everything else we can map within our DAW. Okay. So that's the quick video. I am going to put out some other videos about some uh, setup in the DAW and just to see how that looks, but this will get you going to be able to multi-track record and stream on the same machine. All right, guys, thanks for checking this video out. It's a quick one about routing. Hopefully you found it helpful that you can multi-track record and run your stream at the same time through USB. Well, leave a comment below if you've got other questions. I'd love to make some other videos to help you out specifically. And if you have not already hit the subscribe button, and maybe the thumbs up, that helps the uh, video get a little bit more traction. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.